Now let's look at the overall potential of meal in greater detail. For definition, overall potential is just the difference between actual potential for an electrode reaction or for a redox or half cell reaction and the equilibrium potential EEQ for the same electrode or redox or half cell reaction. Okay, it's the difference between actual potential and the equilibrium potential for a given electrode reaction or for a redox or half cell reaction. So mu over potential would be the difference between actual and equilibrium for the same redox reaction or same half cell reaction. Okay, it's a potential difference and it is for the situation, only for the situation when the current is not zero, when the net current for that uh, half cell reaction is not zero. Or we can say when the current is not zero, the electrode reaction is not at equilibrium. Because if it's at equilibrium, the net current would be zero. So over potential is only for the situation when that half cell reaction or for that electrode reaction is not at equilibrium. And the over potential as we explained earlier, would change with current density as well as direction. Current density as well as direction. We'll explain this later. The significance for over potential. Let's suppose this is our voltage or potential scale. The top is more positive, the bottom is more negative. And somewhere on this potential scale, we have the equilibrium potential for the electrochemical half cell reaction of interest. Here we write OX for oxidized species combined with electron, n number of electrons to form the RED, reduced species. And I put this arrow in both directions indicating it is under equilibrium indicates that the forward reaction rate would be the same as backward reaction rate and the system concentration does now change in with time okay so this would be the equilibrium potential for the electrode or half cell reaction and then let's say we have put the electrode reaction at some more positive value. The actual half cell reaction is at a more positive or greater than the equilibrium uh, potential for that electrode reaction. In this case, based on this equation definition for over potential, if it is greater or more positive, more positive, then our mu would be, as you can imagine, positive. The over potential for this half cell reaction would be positive. And such a an situation people would call the electrode is having anodic polarization or anodic bias. You may come across such phrases as you read the electrochemical literature. If the cell electrode potential for this particular redox or half cell reaction is occurring at a potential more positive than equilibrium, then we would say that this electrode is experiencing anodic or oxidation polarization or ox anodic bias. And under such condition, because it's more positive, then the actual half cell reaction the predominant half cell reaction would be for the reduced species to anodic going through oxidation to give out the electron to form the oxidized species. Okay, from reduced species, give out the electron to form the oxidized species. That's what happens when the electrode potential is more positive or higher than the equilibrium potential. 
On the other hand, if the cell, the electrode potential is smaller than or more negative than EEQ, the equilibrium electrode potential, it's more negative or smaller than the equilibrium potential, then according to this definition, this term would be larger. As a result, we would have a negative over potential. This negative over potential, quite often conventional people call, would call it cathodic polarization on this electrode. Cathodic, which means reduction polarization on this electrode. Sometimes people also call cathodic bias. And under this condition, we would have the oxidized species, cathodic, combine with electron to form the reduced species. This would be the predominant direction for the half cell reaction. Okay, and this case we would call cathodic polarization or cathodic bias condition. And uh, with such explanation, we know, okay, what is so-called anodic polarization which means for the reduced species to give out the electron to be oxidized, going through anodic half cell. Well, if eta, this over potential is negative, that electrode reaction would experience so-called cathodic polarization or cathodic bias. And the oxidized species, in this case, would combine with electron from the electrode to form reduced species. Okay, this would be the significance of over potential, anodic or cathodic, oxidation or reduction. But quite often, people would also take just the, the absolute value about over potential instead of saying it's negative or positive. Just take the absolute value for over potential, but with a note about its nature, whether it's anodic, meaning that electrode is experience oxidation, or cathodic, meaning that electrode is experience reduction for that electrode under discussion or electrode of um, interest.